What's up, divas? What's up, divas? It's your girl, so y'all already know what time it is. 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 It's real talk time, y'all. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, trolls? Yes. You know, I had to address the trolls, you know. Even them, they get to watch, too. They get, you know, they get a shout out, too, because it seems like I got one that definitely needs to go back under the bridge, but she stay making videos about me. Even when I'm not even saying her name in a real talk video, she still knows it's about her. That right there lets you know that there's some suspicious shit going on on the YouTube world. Mm. But anyway, you guys, let's not waste time on trolls. What's up, you guys? I hope y'all are having like a really great day, a really great Wednesday. It's actually not Monday today. It's Tuesday. I know I'm slacking. So as soon as I'm done creating this video, I'm I'm going to take my behind downstairs and edit this video. Like, yeah, I'm going to definitely edit this video. Um, I don't really think I'm going to put any um, memes in it because this is kind of a touchy subject. Um, it was a toss up. It wasn't really a toss up. Okay. Because I got um, other ones that I still have to do, but I tried to do the ones that come in first. That's how it always is. So I did get two real talk video emails in one day and this one was one of them and it was either I do this one this week or last week and because it was such a touchy subject I figured that I would just like give it all my time and I actually worked with not work with this person but I actually did a real talk for this person a couple of years ago so you know I do remember bits and pieces of the video and um hopefully I can remember if to find it like like hopefully I can find it amongst all the real talks that I have. I'm hoping that I can maybe look at my search up in search certain words so that maybe it could pop up because I am not about to sit there and watch every single effing real talk that I have created. Like that just can't happen. I'm not about to let that happen. I can't do it. Okay. I have less time. I need, you know what? I think like we all need more than 24 hours a day. Like seriously, there should really be more than 24 hours in one day because how can you get so many things done in one day at, you know, especially when you're super duper busy, it's not even possible. And I always end up going to bed like at one 30 in the morning, like I'm laying in bed, but I'm still working I'm on my phone, like replying to emails. So it's like, I never, Never get a chance to you know chill and relax and what's so crazy is I put myself in that mode like this week I put myself in that fucking mode where I have to edit two videos in the day like you know today I have two videos going up which is Tuesday it is I don't know why I even thought of this dumbass idea I don't even it's probably not a dumbass idea but it is spending the week with me now I was gonna do a whole one video with seven days of the week of what I do seven days of the week and you could spend that but that video would have been like way over an hour so I'm not trying to make a fucking movie so I was like you know what would be even better and I will get more views is if I just split it up so today's Tuesday so Monday's video went up you know what I'm saying but and shit like that but not this week last week you know what I'm saying of what I did last week not this fucking week okay because that definitely wouldn't be possible but I figured that I would do that so seven days of these same fucking video not same videos but you know what I'm saying plus hair videos like I set myself up for that one like so I'm definitely not gonna put any memes in this video I'm gonna just make it super duper quick and that's it because I have other shit that I need to edit other than that I've been having a grand old week you know what I'm saying like always um it's not always a grand old week but the the reason why I call it a grand old week is this. I don't allow anybody to get under my motherfucking skin, okay? That's what I don't do. And I just, you know what I'm saying? I try to stay out of the way and mind my business. I don't I don't let anything bother me that isn't already bothering me. Like I said last week, I give zero fucks about what anybody thinks about me. And that goes to whoever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck if you don't like me or anything like that. Like, girl, please. Okay. Like, there's too much to go um, through in life for me to really care about what somebody does or does not like about me. That's, I guarantee you, you won't say that shit up in my face. So, eh. But anyway, <laughs> that's what the internet is good for, for keyboard thugs and camera thugs, you know, the ones who talk shit on camera. But then when they see you in person, eh, they don't really have much to say. So I know for a fact, for those who don't like me, who be talking massive nonsense about me, they wouldn't dare say it in my face. I dare them to. They wouldn't come face to face with me. 
not at all. Yeah, not happening. Definitely not happening this way. But other than that, I've been chilling. Uh, freaking Saturday, I had, let me tell y'all, I had eight freaking wigs on my head. Not at one time, but that's how many <sighs> try on wig tutorials that I did. Not eight per se, and one, not eight videos, but eight wigs. Like one video was a synthetic wig haul for the same company, Bobby Boss. So I did four wigs in one video. Okay. Which was cool. That was easy, girl. You know what I'm saying? And then I did have like a ponytail. So, you know what I'm saying? That was four wigs and then a ponytail five. Then I had another wig and another wig and another wig. So eight all together and, um, and five videos. Okay. So five videos. I didn't get done with working until like almost one o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I'm not going to hold y'all for too long. So we're going to get into this. If y'all got a real talk and y'all want to talk about it, you can send me an email to muffin is my lovers, 2012 at gmail.com or April's real talk at gmail.com i will put them right on the screen so that way you can see and other than that we're gonna just get into the real talk okay i know the reason why we chose to say goodbye but i can help my feelings Right now, I can't deny you never left my mind And now, my heart is bleeding Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was just a young girl living in a dream world I thought that I'd be better off But now I pay the price I do I don't know how to forget you I can't forget you, you always I do the things that I should do So I can't forget But you're always on my mind Thought you'd be gone by tomorrow But you're still there tomorrow And the next day, the next day I wish I wouldn't remember How you make me feel better In the best ways, the best ways When I lay down at night I miss you you by my side telling me about your secrets I dream and fantasize that I come by your house Telling you about my regrets Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was way too shallow My mind was way too narrow I thought that I'd be better off But now I pay the price I do I don't know how to forget you I can't forget you You're always on my mind I do the things that I should do So I can't forget But you're always on my mind Huh? 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 What? Okay, so this real talk is going to be long, okay? Look, this is it. This is it, all right? This is awful long. Woohoo, child. Woohoo. And then, oh, wow. Then it is, well, still going. Okay, so then there's a picture. And then she emailed me last night or yesterday today's the 27th right so the 26th and she gave me an update and this is all the updates so girl so we just gonna get into this hopefully my battery don't die all right hi april i wanted to follow up with you about a real talk from 2019 that you helped me with basically my mom's husband was a pedophile and she wanted to offer and my mom wanted to offer to watch my daughter at our house since we couldn't afford full-time daycare for her and my oldest child. He wouldn't be present. My mom's boyfriend wouldn't be present, but I still didn't feel comfortable. Long story short, my husband and I worked it out with our jobs. So she was only in private daycare for a couple days and home with us three days. Okay, so she means the daughter. It was much more affordable and my two daughters didn't have to be around that PDO, we just gonna call it PDO, because I don't want to get demonetized. Well, fast forward to recently, Miss April. OMG, where do I start? My sister came to town to visit my mom and her dad, who is the PDO, for a couple of weeks. 
she wasn't. So basically, my sister came to town to visit for a couple of weeks. She was visiting my mom, our mom, and her father, who is the PDO. She wasn't even here a full week. Okay. Well, the other day, I wake up at 5 a.m. to missed call and messages from her and her ex-boyfriend. He lives out of state. I am freaking out and not fully awake. I can't reach her, meaning her sister. I can't reach my sister. Her ex-boyfriend is saying her phone died. I have no idea where she is. I called my mom and she said the cops were called and she was drinking all day and told the cops her father was touching on her. What the fuck, Miss April? Her biological father's pedio ass got her drunk and tried to rape her. She said he was grooming her all week and she didn't catch on until she noticed he was putting pills in her drinks. Every night he would do things to groom her. Back rubs, quick accidental touches. He would remind her of all he does for her like a scratch my back, I'll scratch your situation. Made sure she knew he would stop financially supporting her if she said anything about this. He would make her alcoholic beverages and she started to notice they tasted weird and there was white film at the bottom of the glass. She she thinks it was Norco. She started to pour them out. She had a bad toothache from bad teeth, so she would ask for ibuprofen, and she thought that was what he was giving her, but he slipped up and told her it was Norco the last day she was there. Well, on the night, shit hit the fan. He started touching on her and kissing her and forcing her to watch porn while he played with himself. She was drunk and on pills, but she was coherent enough to run to the bathroom and get the cops involved. Damn. Well, guess where my mother was? In the bedroom, passed out. Turns out he gives her sleeping pills most nights or sends her to play bingo so he can prey on his own child. April, I'm disgusted. My mom didn't even comfort my sister when the cops came. My sister ran out of the bathroom when the cops arrived and we straight and went straight to her bedroom to wake her up. She told my mom her dad touched on her and my mother went straight to the living room to be with him. She she didn't say anything to my sister. My sister lives out of town, so she had nowhere to go. I finally got a hold of her, and she picked up the phone, and I picked her up. She is with me and my family at my house. She is traumatized. I know what that is like, and I just let her cry and told her it would be okay. Do you know my mother didn't even call to check on her or anything? She's been ignoring everyone. I told my mother off via text message, and all she replied with was, wow. She will never leave him. I just found out there were other possible victims, including another of his daughters and his granddaughter. I want my kids to have a relationship with their grandmother, but not this way, April. She won't leave him, and I don't understand why. They are broken, living in a roach-infested, tiny apartment, drinking and smoking weed. The trick of all their money... They, the trick, they trick all of their money on gadgets and gadgets living in ghetto, fabulous, and trashy. Am I right to cut her out of all of our lives at this point? I hate to do it to my kids because they love her, but I have to protect them. Although he doesn't come around, the PDO, she's an accomplice at this point and her character is taunted. By all of our lives, I mean my husband, me, and two girls. Updated pic with my baby girl who just turned two. Well, I'm not going to show you guys the picture, but she's a cutie. Now, this was a quick update. My mom acknowledged that her current husband, the PDO, now this was yesterday. I think it was yesterday. It was the 26th. Uh, my mom, because the first email was sent to me on July 13th. So, update, July 26th. Mom acknowledged that her current husband, the PDO, did touch my sister, which is his biological daughter. And she acknowledged that he, that he sexually abused me and my older sister years ago. But she says God told her to forgive him and she refuses to leave. Here's my other issue. I have a teenage brother that lives with him. He reached out to me this morning. He said my mother is pressuring him to forgive her husband. He also said he found proof of her husband cheating with at least five women. He checked his phone and saw some other disturbing things. So he checked 
the pedio's phone he wanted to know what he should do i told him nothing she will never leave him she knows what he did to her daughters and is still with him my brother is almost 18 so he understands very clearly what is happening and refuses to be manipulated i ordered for him to come to my house but he doesn't want to he said the pervert hasn't ever tried anything with him but and has never hurt him but he can't forgive him or my mom for what they've done to us i really want to call cps my mother is so weak and evil april she really says god told her that it's to forgive her husband no matter what there is no god in their union they have a very sick and twisted relationship he will continue to prey on young women and girls and my mom will continue to let him I haven't talked to her or communicate with, with her in weeks. I really want to hurt her and the pervert, but pervert, but it won't do any good. It's a big mess. So we're going to just call her Evelyn. I like that name, Evelyn. So Evelyn, as you guys know, I, I know that was a lot to take in, but just get it. Okay. Hopefully I can find that first video. Well, she gave me a hint. It was from 2019. So it had to be early 19. So back in 2019, I do remember, but I can't remember every detail, but from, from what she's saying, basically her, her sister lives out of town. Her sister came to visit their mom that they share in common and her father, they don't have the same father. But so the young lady went to visit over there with her parents and the father was slipping uh roofies or whatever y'all want to call it in her drinks pills in her drinks which would probably loosen her up and maybe make her go along with what he was saying but the one night she was there he uh, tried to convince her to watch porn with him and tried to drug her up and drunk her the fuck up in order for him to watch porn with her and play with himself so the sister ran into the bathroom and called the police while the mother was upstairs knocked out because the father, the pedio, is also giving her sleeping tablets. Now, for one, I'm not really sure how old this young lady is, but there's also an 18-year-old boy that lives in the household. Um, but he is not about to be manipulated. And you know, at that age, 18, he's probably a tough guy. And I'm pretty sure the pedio ain't trying to get no parts of those paws put on him. So that's probably why he's not bothering the young man that's 18 you know these young kids they they ruthless some of them and maybe that's what he need a ruthless ass with it but um evelyn's sister we're gonna call her sister uh, we call her naomi that's a nice name so naomi was being mistreated basically while visiting with her parents okay her father was trying to touch on her accidentally rubbing up against her you know saying scratch my back i'll scratch yours type of thing told her he wouldn't financially support her if she any if she ever made um you know knowledge of this i guess basically um the last night or the last couple of nights that she was there he tried to get her drunk tried to drug her up so that way they could watch porn together and he can fiddle the fiddle the dee with himself okay but um naomi ran into the bathroom and proceeded to call law enforcement which came and she ran out the door and was able to get to her sister's house evelyn so evelyn is telling me that the mother hasn't really been doing much about it she stays with the pdo and she stopped speaking to her until recently she was updating me about the mother has finally acknowledged the fact that her husband is a nasty ass bastard and that he has touched his children and she said grandchildren too i don't know but here's the thing but god has told her mom to forgive him Listen here, honey. Let me take a swig of this. This is really great. Premier protein milk. If you are one who's trying to lose weight, this has really great protein. And if you don't have time to eat, this is really good. Yes, honey. I've been drinking this for years. Funny, I only like the chocolate one. I don't like the vanilla one. It's gross. Um, I probably had to try the cookie one, but this one, I, I've been drinking the chocolate one for years. So she's basically telling um, Evelyn that God has told her to forgive her husband and stay with him, even though he is being a humongous devilish ass sinner by touching on young women and on top of that your own children now you know god god does say a lot of things there's so many things that god has told many people to forgive to forget to forgive is the main thing you know and i believe in forgiveness and then i don't believe in forgiveness now listen i could forgive you when you do things unintentionally like you're not doing it purposely okay but when you continuously do something that is harmful to others and is a sin and you can't keep apologizing for that shit like this is a touchy subject like you know what i'm saying like 
What person in their right mind is so sick in the head that they would do anything to harm and traumatize a young person, okay? At any age, you should be hung. You should be castrated, okay? Your tongue should be ripped out and tied around your throat along with your dick and balls, okay? It's sad when you have a grown ass man trying to be such a nasty, disgusting human being that they would even try to inflict that on their own flesh and blood. It doesn't even matter if it's not their flesh and blood. Just to do something like that is so disgusting and just deceitful and manipulative that those type of people, I really feel like they, those type of people need to be tortured. Put them in a jail cell and let them get R-A-P-E-D'd by the other inmates. And I don't want to say the word because I don't want to get demonetized. But I just really feel like that's what needs to be happened to those type of PDOs, because that's what we're going to call it, that like to do things like that. They need to be R-A-P-E-D by other inmates. And that's just my take on it. And that's how I feel, because what the fuck is wrong with a person when they feel like that's okay? You got to be really sick in the mind, in the head, in the brain cells to do something like that. Even to R-A-P-E-D, a a woman, you ought to be shameful and sick of yourself. So I don't really give two rats ass what your mama said about forgiveness, but that I would not forgive. That is, this is the sad part about it, Evelyn. You want your children to get to know your mother because they love her? Sweetheart, your mother's long gone. And I don't mean that in no disrespectful ways, no disrespectful formats, but your mother is long gone. She has been brainwashed by that man that you call a step father. Your mother has been brainwashed, manipulated to the core because if she really feels like she should believe that God is telling her to forgive his nasty ass, your mother is brainwashed and she probably feels like she can't get no better. Let me say this much. If I felt like I can't get no better and I had to stay with somebody like that, bitch, I'd be by my goddamn self. It's best to be alone than be with somebody like that. There's no way on God's green earth would I even dare to attempt to be with somebody like that okay straight up and that's with no chaser there's no way so as far as I'm concerned your mother she has no morals and no values okay because that is her daughter and her daughter's father and if my husband boyfriend friend brother cousin whatever touched anybody in a way that they were not supposed to be touched we have no ties after that you better hope that i don't go upside your goddamn dome piece that's facts right there okay so as far as i'm concerned with your mother evelyn you should just leave her the fuck alone because on some serious shit that is some weird old type of shit and it's disgusting and there's no way she need your mother needs a backbone is what the fuck she needs a backbone that for one to do that to a child that's not even flesh and blood is one thing but to find out that she he's done did that to you your flesh and blood kids let me say listen i wouldn't even know if that were me if i was your mother honestly i wouldn't even know how to face you i wouldn't even know how to look in your face after you told me something like that and to come to find out that it's true truthful facts i wouldn't even be able to look at you i'll be so ashamed and hurt and i would feel so much guilt because i would feel like i brought this i brought this on myself i brought this upon you guys because he was my choice you see what I'm saying? But your mother don't even feel no guilt. She don't even feel no pressure from it. She don't even feel no type of way. She just said, God said, let's forgive him be, be regardless. No, there's, yeah, I know the vows for better or for worse, but bitch, he did not say to be a nasty ass motherfucker. Okay. He did not say to forgive for those reasons. And that wasn't, look, back then when those vows was written, people were, well, look, they probably was doing shit like that. However, it wasn't just out in the open like that. But I'm, I'm sorry, sweetheart, Evelyn. Your mother, you, your children don't need a relationship with her. I'm sorry, because if she's shacking up as team, team pedio over there, then there's no reason for her to have a 
freaking relationship with your children because she's co-signing with it regardless of oh she's finally acknowledged it and oh she acknowledged that he did this and he she acknowledged well is she acknowledging that she needs to get a divorce and leave his ass because I didn't see you say that in the fucking email so therefore if your mother has acknowledged the fact that her husband is a nasty bastard who goes around and touches women and young children that he's not supposed to be doing that and if she acknowledges that but she's still gonna stick it out and ride it out with him then she's team nasty ass and you need to leave her the fuck alone and that's the only way that i can put it you don't need to have a relation let me you, your children don't need to have a relationship just because that's your mama and just because that's their grandmother does that mean that they need to have that doesn't mean that she needs to have a relationship with them just because y'all y'all seem to get it fucked up sometimes just because y'all motherfucker is family don't mean that y'all is family do you feel me do you understand the words that are coming out of my fucking mouth right now? Just because you family don't mean you fucking family. Like, straight up. Just because that's your mama does not mean that that's your kid's grandmama, okay? And that damn sure don't mean that that's your kid's grandfather. That's for damn sure, okay? Just because y'all are blood-related doesn't mean that your mama has access to have a relationship with your children while she's living it up over there with a pedio. And... If that was my mama and it's the same situation, I wouldn't even fuck with you. I would be too ashamed to fuck with you. You're brainwashed. There's nothing you can say to her until she decides that she wants to become unfucking brainwashed, okay? Unmanipulative, manipulated, and carry on with her life. Your mama didn't say nothing about, well, I acknowledge the fact that he done did that to you, his daughter, and other kids, and whoever else. And now, because I've acknowledged that and I finally accepted my truth and his truth, I'm gonna leave him. She did not. I say that all she said was i will forgive him because god says so well you know what you tell her well you know what god does say forgive all of those okay he does say that so what i'm gonna do is forgive you for being um brainwashed i'm going to forgive you for being naive i'm going to forgive you for being stupid as fuck mama and i hope you can forgive me that we're not going to have a relationship and nor are my children with you i will keep my kids away from her I, I wouldn't I would keep my children away from her and I'm sorry but um even if your mama was to come to your house still wouldn't sit right with me just wouldn't sit right with me at all it's it's you know you invite evil into your homes people whether you know it or not you invite evil into your homes. you can invite evil into your homes in so many numerous ways that you don't you fail to realize that and I'm not saying your mama is the devil but her husband is okay he's the antichrist he sure is if he's doing shit like that. And if that's your husband that who's the devil, then I don't really want to have no parts with you either. And I'm not saying your mother would do anything to the children, but right now at this moment in time, you really don't know. You don't know. She could be taking pictures of your children and bringing them back home for him to look at. We don't know this. And I'm not saying that she is. And for those who you be like, oh, don't put that on her mother. For you, but for those of you who even think that, shut the fuck up because I didn't say she did. I just said she don't know. You don't know. You don't know what a person is capable of doing. You don't know people. People like that she don't know that shit she don't know what her mother's capable of doing if her mama is still staying there with that man and putting up with that shit after all these years then you don't know what she's capable of doing and she wouldn't come around my kids neither all right if that was my mama and as far as your brother's concerned yeah he i don't understand why he doesn't want to leave to come live with you but um I'm pretty sure that man is not trying to fuck with him because you know these young boys, these young thugs, and he's not even a young thug, but he's a young man at 18. He can be a young thug if he wants to and knock his ass the fuck out, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to try to fuck with him because he's 18 years old and he a dude. Young man ain't trying to hear that shit. You ain't trying to manipulate nobody and try to touch on him. Like, he too old, I would think, for him to be trying to manipulate. I don't. I would hope so. I would hope that old man didn't try that shit, okay? I would hope so. And we know he old because you got a whole family here girl and and they got grandkids so you know they old they old enough they like you may be in their late 50s at least you know what i'm saying either way either way that nigga's old and he don't want to fuck with no young kid at 18 because he'll get laid the fuck out but which what needs to be done i don't really know who you you say you want to call cps call cps on who your sister how old is your sister because you did not say how old your sister was you just said that she came to visit from out of town and but he also her father also said that 
he wouldn't give her any financial gain if she was to run her mouth. But that makes me think like maybe she's under a certain age if he's helping her financially. But that doesn't have to be the case. Then I started thinking about, well, how old is she that she's drinking alcohol? It doesn't matter if she's over 18, who are you calling CPS on? Your children don't live there because your brother's 18. I don't even think that CPS will will come through for an 18 year old. I'm not sure. I don't really know, but I would say this to your brother. What I would advise you to tell him is don't put your hands on that man unless he put his hands on him first and try not to even do it then. You know what I'm saying? Get the, get the police, get the law involved because he don't want to go to jail for fucking up this old ass man. And when it could have been avoided, even if it is the old ass man's fault and, and cause he don't want to waste his time, like hours, minutes, months, whatever weeks in jail due to some old nasty the ass pedo let that motherfucker get his time in jail and that's that but warn your brother to just chill out and and and, and watch his temperament around him and definitely watch his paws keep the paws off that man because you don't know the mother could call the police on your brother the the, the old pedo could you you just don't know you don't know what's capable of your mom but you're not wrong for not wanting to have a relationship with her anymore you're definitely not wrong in my opinion some people might be like well that's her mother yeah okay i get that but just because it's your mama don't mean that that's your mama she had been stopped being her mother when she wasn't doing anything about it when her pedo boyfriend was touching on her daughter then so what makes her a good mama now like straight up so if she's not a good mother why the fuck would i want my kids around her she ain't gonna be no good grandmother like seriously let's be on some real shit right about now i wouldn't fuck with her i definitely wouldn't fuck with her that's just my opinion but you know there are other people that have other opinions too but that's my opinion so you know you could take it or leave it but anyway evelyn that's my opinion to you everybody else leave yours down below this was a touchy subject that's the reason why i wasn't putting no memes in here because i just really didn't feel like this was a meme type of video so on that note you guys i love you all make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up share it with your friends share it with your non-friends share it with the trolls just share the fucking video i'll see y'all in the next one i love you make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up and i will see y'all soon